Today's topic is about columns. What is a column? A structural member subjected to axial compressive force is called a column. Normally, columns carry heavy compressive loads. Columns are used in concrete and steel buildings. Types of columns Long, short, which is also called as strut and intermediate. Classification Long column When the length of the column is more as compared to its cross-sectional dimension, it is called long column. LE by R minimum should be greater than 50, where LE is the effective length of the column and R minimum is the minimum radius of duration. Short column When the length of column is less as compared to its cross-sectional dimension, it is called short column. Short column LE by R minimum should be less than 50 or LE by D should be less than 15. What is a crushing load? The load at which short column fails by crushing is called as the crushing load. Intermediate column. Column is intermediate when 4D is less than L which is also less than 30D and 30 should be less than LE by R minimum which is overall less than 100 or critical slenderness. Crippling load is denoted by PCR, radius of duration small r, moment of inertia i, area a, effective length le, slenderness ratio lambda, stronger axis and weaker axis. Types of supports, roller type support, pin type support and fixed support. Effective length, the distance between points of two zero moments depends upon the type of support conditions. Column end condition and effective length. Both ends should be hinged. Both ends should be fixed. One end fixed and other end hinged. One end fixed and other should be free. So here is a clear indication of effective length for different support conditions. When one end fixed and one end free end, LE equals to 2L. When both ends pinned, LE will be equal to L. When one end pinned and other end fixed, LE equal to 0.7 into L. When both ends are fixed, LE equal to 0.5 into L. Slenderness ratio lambda. Slenderness ratio is the ratio of the length of column and the least radius of duration on its cross section. Often denoted by lambda, it is used extensively for finding out the design load as well as in classifying various columns in short or intermediate or long. Lambda is equal to effective length by radius of duration. Radius of duration R is equal to root over of moment of inertia by area of cross section or moment of inertia is equal to area of cross section into radius of radius, radius of duration whole square. Slenderness ratio is equal to effective length of column by minimum radius of duration. Crippling load or buckling load. The load at which long column starts buckling or bending is called buckling load or crippling load. Buckling of column depends upon the following factors. The amount of load, the length of column, the end condition of column, the cross section dimensions of column and the material of the column. Euler's formula. Euler's crippling load PE is equal to pi square EI by L square. 
where E is the modulus of elasticity in MPA, I is the moment of inertia in mm to the power 4 and L is the effective length in mm, also known as critical buckling.